So this is uh, my poem for Jerry Blank. It's called, I Got Something to Say. <laughs> Maybe I'm high on a hot load of mescaline, crumbled into a tumbler of Percocet jimmies, but I'd like to try it again. High school, one more time. Just like you, Jerry, my favorite middle-aged chunky whore. <laughs> I never had an overbite or an oily grain pompadour, but I had stomach ulcers from my freshman year fear and a staggering inability to say what I wanted to say. Today, I watched you get stoned again, just hanging in the girls' locker room, ready to spark that spliff. Trish reached deep into the crotch of her tight gym shorts, slid up one thin joint, and you said with complete conviction, that's quite a humanoid where got there. <laughs> Fourteen and fragile, Catholic and closeted, I would never have had the nerve, not unless I went back now, back to Ohio, to Central Catholic, decades older, and ready to do all the wrong things the right way. Imagine the panic from the priest when, like you, I run for homecoming queen. My platform, lowering the drinking age, because Jesus was turning water to wine way before he was 21. And during the semester on sex ed, I can share what I've learned in San Francisco, raising my hand after the lesson on abstinence to remind Father Matthew, no one gets pregnant from anal. <laughs> but the ultimate will be English lit. As Jane Eyre evaporates into the atmosphere, I'll finally muster the words for that boy one best back who whispered faggot in my ear every day. Look, I like the pole and the hole. I'll make your pinky all stinky. <laughs> and if that sap wrangler still wants a piece of me, I'll break it down Jerry style. Right now, I'm as moist as a snack cake down there. So when the lunch bell rings, why don't you eat me? <laughs>